conference ahead of the internet uh, final, where we'll be facing off against the uh, Amazulu FC at the Moses Mapira Stadium. Uh, that's coming Saturday, 5th of November. Um, welcome, to, uh, sorry, I'm joined by the uh, by the home team coach, uh, uh, Coach uh, Jose Rivera, Jose Rivera, as well as uh, Captain Innocent Mayala. Welcome, gentlemen. I'm just gonna to kick things to kickstart things. I'm just gonna ask you a uh, routine question, uh, Coach. Uh, if you can just uh, take us through the preparations uh, for the team uh, going into the final, and you know, um, also from the player's perspective, how you guys um, are preparing for the final, focusing uh, and focusing on that, on that particular match. Coach, if you can please start. Yes. Good morning. Um, uh, the preparation is starting today. Uh, it's gonna be our our first session after the after the last match uh, in relation with the week. Uh, so, um, as usually, uh, trying to to prepare the game as good as possible in every aspect, uh, conditional, tactically, and, and emotional as well. And um, it's nice to to start weeks like this with a final in the in the horizon and with uh, full of uh, illusion and motivation, obviously. Uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, like the coach has already alluded, we, you know, we're starting our, our preparations today. We're starting our week today. So yeah, we have an opportunity to play the final. Uh, we have an opportunity to play for a trophy. You know, like the coach has said, a uh, very emotional week. But you know the most important thing for us players is to focus on our training sessions, focus on the next task uh, at training, and focus on, on on planning for the match. You know, for us, I mean that's the most important thing to make sure that we are full in during our sessions so that we can be well prepared for the match. Thank you, Espinon. We've got a rolling mic. Are you able to? I know the coach likes to say when it comes to uh, such matters. You know, but in terms of your fitness level. How is it coming along? Thanks. Yeah, um, I think it's it's true that we, I mean, uh, people saw that I, I, I couldn't finish the match, you know, because of uh, an eagle that I had. But we we are still busy with the, with, our, with our, the team doctors. We are still busy with uh, the physios. So, yeah, it's still early to tell. But, uh, I, I mean, I feel good. I feel confident. And we will see as the week goes by. So, nothing confirmed as yet. Coach, uh, and you know, starting with you, coach, where do, where do you start looking at how the the boys fared last week? Um, was it more of a mental matter that you had to deal with, looking at the result that was a league result, but now going into the final, was there any mental you know preparation that was done ahead of the physical preparation of the players, and how are they? coming along after the defeat. Did you say where they fail? No, no, no. How did they do? Ah. Uh, no, we, we, as usual, we have to analyze the reasons uh, uh, that, that uh, didn't, didn't allow us to get a good result in, in our last match. Uh, we did the job. We, we analyzed the reasons with the players. Uh, we are usually winning or losing. We are usually critic with with ourselves uh, in order to, to to keep improving. That's the only way. And uh, obviously, when you when you don't get a good result, uh, you 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 go deeper because you 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 angry. You are disappointed. So players, coaching staff, we want to. We want to change the situation as soon as possible, and we know because we are all uh, experienced about this type of process, players and, and coaches, that we need to we need to um, yeah put put even more emphasis in the small details and small things in order to to be again you know the team that we we really want to be, and that wasn't wasn't possible to be in our best version in the last match, even though it was a was a version good enough to get a better result, and we know it as well. So we don't go 
we don't analyze the results usually. We try to, to learn from our performance and, and, and continue. Good afternoon, Coach. This is Kevin Farhat from Sports Week South Africa. So, considering the good form that goalkeeper Siamo Gambonjani has been in, and the freakish nature of the goal that you conceded, and um, Richard O'Connor's ambitions of getting some form maybe to the World Cup, will this influence uh, your selection for the slots between the sticks on Saturday, or sort of Saturday evening? I have four keepers in the squad. Uh, Copano, Sipo, uh, Siabonga, and Richard. Uh, they are all of them going to train this week as usually, and in the end of the week, we have to make a decision about which one is the, 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 the right one to play this game. Uh, Coach Lorenzo here from the Esky Times. Uh, losing the derby, uh, does it bring you and the team more motivation um, to obviously rectify this and win the cup. And for Captain, um, what do you see from the Amazulu side um, as their strengths that you need to nullify them in the final? Um, yes, obviously, like I said before, when we, we are, all of us, uh, we are competitive people. We are not good losers. Uh, to be honest, none of us. So when we are involved in one defeat, like last time, obviously you want to get rid of that feeling as soon as possible. The, the, the sooner is the, the first training session today, so we need to, uh, the, 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 if we say that we want to be a different team on Saturday, we have to show it today. Uh, we, there's no you know, reason to wait for Saturday. We have to do it today and then tomorrow and then after tomorrow. So, like I said, obviously, players, coaching staff, we are not happy with the last result. And the only way we have to, to get rid of that feeling is competing again. And until we have the chance to compete, train like, uh, like top, like that, that's what we are going to do this week. <clears throat> oh, yeah, to answer, to answer your question, yeah, from the previous match that we, we played against them, we noticed that they they play in transition, you know, they, they leave a lot of players up front so that they can have the edge when they go into transition. So, yeah, as the coaches say, it's still early in the week, you know, we will go deeper with our analysis, but we know, we know what we need to do so that we uh, nullify the, their strengths, uh, which is transition. We will work on it, but obviously I can't tell you how, you know, but we, we definitely know their strengths and we know what we need to do, but the week is still early, we will definitely work on it. Coach, um, in the last interview you said you're going to go back to the drawing board and see to it that the mistakes that happened must never happen again. Is this change of strategy or refining what you've been working on? No, I think in the, in the football teams, and we are not an exception, there's an evolution always. If, if you are not changing during the season, we've been already working uh, four months, and um, it's not, it's not going to be a good signal if we still be in the, the same team that you show in, in, the, in, in August, early in August when we start the season. So, uh, yeah, we try to, to learn from, from, the, from the games, from the chances we have to compete, and we try to implement adaptations in our our style, our intentions when we have the ball, when we don't have the ball. Uh, the, 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 the player's profile is different. If, if you think about our first start 11 in the season and the last one, so players are the most important in the end. They are the ones who, who are uh, making the, the, the formations and the, the occupations and et cetera, et cetera, in our, in our way to play. So we try to get the best out of them and make them to contribute to the to the team it's not about only what I want or what, what I would like to see is what the player in, in every week is capable to to provide. Are there questions? Okay. Thank you.
it's always a seat for my post, uh, my list director to the captain. Um, one gets the sense that you guys uh, are enjoying yourselves and the coach. Um, what's, what's the general feeling in, in, in camp regarding the way coaching is uh, running the team? Uh, thank you for the question, um, Tor. Well, uh, one of the most important things that he has, he has taught us is, you know, not to dwell on the, um, on the result, but to focus on the process. So, so, so we know as players that we, we have a long-term goal, and we know that uh, what we need to do step by step for us to get to that level. So, you know, as, 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 as since he, he has joined us, we know that even, even when we play, we focus on the steps. And sometimes we, 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 we can't control the results or, or how the match will go. But we know that our main focus is, is, is the process and, and, and we know how to get there. And what has helped us to enjoy life, you know, our training sessions, our matches, just life in general uh, at the club is, is um, the, the freedom that we have, uh, the tools that are provided for us to, to, to perform and play. We, we know what we, we need to do a training clearly. We know how to plan for matches clearly and we, 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 we know what we need to do in matches, you know, in, in order for us to prevail. So you go, you go into matches not only with your talent, but, but you know we have a, um, a clear game plan to follow. And that has helped us a lot because it has, it has, it has provided even more tactics uh, for us to, to go into matches and perform. So yeah. We, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot, obviously, that he has instilled um, in us, not only about football, but also in life in general, you know, so we, we are learning every day and, 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 and yeah, we are enjoying our, our, our days and our sessions. I, it's exactly so in different times life. Uh, my question is to, you know, um, you know, do you think if you guys manage uh, to win on Saturday, um, Will that allow you guys uh, going forward to play with less pressure and a bit of more confidence, uh, knowing that uh, you finally have that uh, piece of silver away, uh, having won last one uh, two years ago? Uh, well, yeah, we definitely want to win trophies all the time, but I don't think um, winning uh, on Saturday, which we intend to do, uh, will lessen the pressure. You know, the pressure is always there, whether you're playing a cup final or uh, a ordinary league match, the pressure is always there to perform and, and win, you know, to, and, and to win playing well. So, yeah, yeah, I think for, to a certain extent, the pressure will be lesser, but I mean, when you play for a big club uh, like ours, you, you always expect it to, to win and, you know, uh, pressure is always there. Thanks, man. Coach. Lately, we've seen Orlando Pirates is playing sold out games uh, since that game against Sundowns, the first leg. Another sold out, and uh, the fact that this one was sold out in two days. What does it mean to the whole team in terms of making sure you win something for the fans? Thank you. Yeah, like the captain said, we're playing for a big club. Uh, so, uh, it's nice to it's nice to see the the, the, the stadiums fully packaged. Package. Uh, it makes sense for me. It, it gives you know the sense to all the sacrifices that we do uh, in in our profession. When you go to the stadium and you see that what you do is important for the people, otherwise, you know what's gonna be. In, them the when we say that this is a big club it's because of you know this is one of the main reasons so we have to accept uh, that pressure which is nice to, uh, to play for a you know audience uh, and, and you know feel feel straight that you need to perform in your best that's what they are expecting from us our best there are things that we cannot control but we can control is Go to the to the field on Saturday uh, with the determination and with the clear proposal and intention to be better than our opponent. And in the end of the in the end of the game, be the one who's gonna who's gonna celebrate. Coach Damien from Soccer Duma, you just mentioned that 
we've been working with the team for the past four months. And in that four months, you now have the opportunity to lift um, your first piece of silverware in the country, also the club's first in the last two years. What would it mean to you personally, Coach, um, if you were to get victory on, on, on Saturday, what would it mean for you um, as a coach to deliver uh, your first piece of silverware in the country? Personally, well, it obviously win games. It means a, a big satisfaction for me to 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 see my players and all the people around happy and and satisfied as well uh, with the way we try to do the things. In the end, it's it's the most important. Find the way you want to do the things, even the way you want to win the games. There's many ways, and all of them are reasonable and acceptable. We have our own, and uh, when you when you manage to get a good result in one game, doing the things in your own way, the personal satisfaction it's uh, it's nice. There's there's two three hours after one victory for a coach, which are you know it's something I cannot even explain you. It takes two three hours. After three hours, you are thinking the next one already. When you have the chance to play a final, which is in the end. Uh, the, 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 not, not mandatory, but you know, is one of the things that you expect uh, or people expect from you when you are uh, working in a club like Pirates, that you have the the chance to be frequently in the decisive games in the finals. That's something that we are looking for from the beginning. This is the first chance we have to play for something, and we manage to be there. We are very happy that we have the chance to be there. Uh, on Saturday with the possibility to get a trophy and uh, I can tell you when it happens how I feel after that personally but I don't think that I'm gonna get any <coughs> any different feeling than than the feeling that I'm usually getting when we win one game thank you I'm happy to see you. I can see you relax. The, those things of high intensity that lasted for a short period after you lost the coin. Now I want to say to you, your name is coach. That's why I'm repeating you. He said his players have technical awareness. I want to find out from you. Does your Paris players have it? Okay, question two. Uh, uh, well, uh, thank you. Uh, there was a very long question, so I'm going to take the first question. Coach, do your players have tactical awareness? Um, and tactical if I want to please get the microphone and move on to the next question. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't have opinion about what the, uh, the the other coaches thinks about one result or one performance. Uh, ye yes, we we do. We the, the way we train, the way we 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 we, we work here. It's uh, it's thinking. It's not it's not only doing. I mean the. The, what we're trying to develop here is a, is a team, a group of players with capacity to be a coach on the field, to think, to find solutions. Uh, sometimes we can execute uh, uh, the decision in the right way. It's a difficult and complex sport. We have to execute our, our decisions with our feet. So it's difficult to be precise, but we don't, uh, as a coaching staff, we don't uh, we don't analyze the outcome of the decision. We analyze the decisions that we made on the field in order to know if we're gonna be close to win or not. So obviously we have a group of players uh, experienced and smart enough in, 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 the, in the tactical uh, perspective, if that is your question, no, not a discussion. Uh, so yeah, sometimes it's possible and sometimes you know, it's not, it's a sport, it's a game. 
um, Tepa Shabana, Joseph from Sports. Coach, I, I, just, I just want to find out from you. This is one of the oldest matches in the, in the league in South Africa. The last time Amazulu won a, a, a cup, okay, played in the cup, was 46 years ago. He knew it's not gone. They want this at all cost, according to what they're saying. Do matches like those, or facts like those, play any part, seeing that you're playing against a team that is still in the building process? Uh, you come from um, a, a background where um, you probably had a long week going into this match. Now looking at the hungry Amazon, we've got nothing to lose coming against you. Does the pressure differ from playing against the Sundowns that has got 22 trophies in their cabinet or playing against the Amazulu that has not had taste of victory in the last 46 years? No, I think the approach is totally wrong. Uh, if a team like uh, Sundowns is collecting trophies every season, it's because they are, they are still hungry. Uh, and that's something very difficult to, to, to keep it. And then about Amazulu, imagine one team going to the final and saying that, ah, it's okay to be here, you know. It doesn't matter the result. Everyone is going to the final with the same thing to lose. Them and us. Exactly the same thing to lose, which is a trophy, it's a title. It's 90 minutes, 11 against 11, so don't tell me about favorites or teams who are more hungry than, more hungry than the other because it's not true. You see? <laughs> If, if, if someone feel or think like that is because they don't know how a football player thinks about a game like this.